starting from there, very slowly from the outside, you will encounter a point. That is the contact angle. Hello, my name is Professor Kang Mo Koo from Korea University. In this video, we have filmed a demonstration on how to measure the contact angle on the surface of plants with a student. When water is sprayed on the surface, the interaction between the water and the plant creates two contact points which form the angle. By understanding and adjusting this angle, you can determine the wettability of the plant surface. Essentially, you can tell if it's hydrophobic or hydrophilic. You can identify whether it's hydrophobic or hydrophilic by measuring the angle in numerical terms. The experiment was featured as a lab curriculum in a prestigious journal and selected for its cover. The previously featured experimental method required using ImageJ software on a computer to measure angles, which was time consuming and inconvenient as shown in the video. To address this, I introduce a fun way to conduct the experiment using the Angulus app on a smartphone. Now, I will guide you through the materials needed for the experiment. First, you will need broccoli leaves, scissors, double-sided tape, a paintbrush, soap water, and a flat desk. Now, I will walk you through the steps of the experiment one by one. First, take a broccoli with well-developed wax and carefully cut the flattest part, avoiding the veins of the leaves, as shown. Next, attach the cut broccoli leaves to the double-sided tape you prepared in advance, stretching the leaves as much as possible. Pull slightly harder than shown on the screen to flatten the leaf surface and ensure it sticks securely. It is important to avoid touching the edges of the leaf surface on the table to prevent disturbing the epicuticular wax during the experiment. When you drop water using a syringe, releasing it slowly from one centimeter above will allow you to create evenly sized droplets. Repeat the experimental method on at least three broccoli leaves to ensure reliable results. Next, remove the wax from the leaf by rubbing more than 10 times in four directions, up, down, and side to side. This will create waxed and de-waxed areas. By placing water droplets on both areas, you can observe changes in the contact angle due to the presence or absence of wax. This experiment allows students to visually observe changes in the contact angle caused by the presence or absence of plant wax. Additionally, they can take photos with their smartphones to measure and compare these changes. Take a look. On the area where the wax has been removed, you'll see that the water droplets stick much more easily and uniformly at once. Since the amount of surface wax on plant surfaces can vary depending on the cultivation environment and the age of the collected leaves, performing three or more biological replicates will help you achieve more reliable experimental results. The next step is to use the prepared 0.1% soap solution and apply it to the wax surface in the same manner to measure the contact angle. This will help students understand the role of surfactants. Soapy water acts as a surfactant, helping water droplets adhere better to the waxy surface of plants. This is the same principle used when applying pesticides and this experiment simulates that process. In the setup using soapy water, you can see that the water droplets adhere immediately to the plant surface. Students can use a paired t-test to compare contact angles of water and soapy water on waxy surfaces, understanding the role of surfactants. The same method can compare contact angles with and without wax to study plant surface wettability. Students can use the zoom feature on their smartphones to capture the droplet horizontally. Afterward, open the photo for analysis. Students can easily measure the contact angle of the water droplet in the photo they just took using the Angulus app for Android or AnglerMeter 360 for iPhone by adjusting three points on the screen. To improve precision, reduce the line width for better accuracy. The contact angle forms where the water droplet, air, and plant surface meet. To measure it, students should carefully adjust the line to touch the edge of the water droplet where it meets the surface. To create a good tangent line at the interface of water, air, and the plant surface, it's important to take a clear and sharp photo of the water droplet. For a clearer photo, red artificial dye can be added to the solution. 
Another tip is to use a solid background color, such as white, to contrast with the red solution. This shows a student measuring the contact angle using their smartphone. As you can see, the contact angle can be easily measured with a simple tap of a finger, making it an easy way to observe the presence of wax on plant surfaces and conduct experiments on the role of surfactants. This makes for a straightforward and practical teaching tool. Water sticks to lettuce, but not to kale or green onions due to differences in contact angles. Measuring these angles in experiments helps identify which surface has a larger angle. If the contact angle is less than 90 degrees, it indicates a hydrophilic surface, meaning water spreads out and adheres well to the surface. If the angle is greater than 90 degrees, it indicates a hydrophobic surface where water beads up and doesn't spread easily. When the angle exceeds 140 degrees, it shows the surface is extremely hydrophobic meaning water has very little contact with the surface. A highly hydrophobic surface with a 140 degree contact angle is seen on lotus leaves. The wax and microstructured cuticle layers create this effect, causing water droplets to roll off and clean the surface, known as the lotus effect. This helps keep the leaf dry, allowing efficient gas exchange for photosynthesis. During the experiment, as shown in the previous video, Water droplets may keep falling. A trick I used is lightly tapping the surface with a pencil to stop the droplets. On waxy broccoli surfaces, water constantly rolls off. If the plant surface with wax is slightly tilted, water droplets may continue to slide off. Surfaces with a lot of wax repel water, making it difficult for mold and bacteria to grow. As shown in the video, the droplets might keep rolling off. One tip is to ensure the surface is flat so the droplets don't roll off. Another tip is that making a tiny hole with a pencil can help the water droplets stay in place, which is a useful trick. Just make sure the hole made by the pencil doesn't significantly alter the contact angle. Okay, have fun and learn about plant wax.